Hi guys, this is my VMC GP12. And this video is really gonna be about, you know, what components uh, the bike comes with, what it is, and anyone who wants more information about it. Um, I got a lot of my information from Peter Ovalle, so I will, uh, you know, you'll see me mention his, uh, his YouTube site a lot. Uh, big shout out to him for helping answer a lot of my questions. Um, so what is the GP12? It's basically, uh, GP2 Ovali clone, basically. Uh, I bought this bike from Alibaba about three months ago, just arrived at my doorstep. This thing comes with a Zongshan 190cc two valve motor, and there is a Daytona uh, option, just like the GP2 uh, option as well. But this was $2,700 uh, to my door. So very budget friendly, especially for someone like me who just wanted to get in the, get his foot in the door uh, for mini, uh, for minis. At the car track, I do have a supermoto, but I really wanted to see what riding a, a mini, like a, a mini, like superbike or a sport bike, would would be like. So that's all the reasoning behind me purchasing this bike. So they do have 10-inch options. This is the 12-inch option, and I'm gonna go over some of the features it comes with, or some of the components it comes with. So this bike is has adjust non-adjustable forks. <clears throat> it's 45 millimeter diameter forks, J1 four piston calipers, steel braided brake lines, and then they are radially, radially mounted, but they're standard mount to the fork. So if you want to update the fork, I believe there's options out there. It does have a 15 millimeter axle, which I believe is a common, is common for the 12 uh, inch or minis. It's non-floating discs, so if you want to upgrade that, you can do that. Again, my bike is of the is a Zongshan 190cc two valve, and I think there's a big following here in the United States for this motor. So, you know, you know, one of the comments I hear a lot is, you know, when you buy a Chinese bike, you're not going to have a lot of resources or maybe have the options to replace parts easily and source parts easily. Uh, the one important thing for me is really the motor. Uh, so good to know that there's a lot of resources. And because it is a popular motor. Now again, the Daytona, Daytona motor is also popular. The four valve motor is also an option. To your door, depending on where you live, I think it's gonna be around $3,300 uh, delivered. So we're talking big price differences between the GP2 Daytona and, and this bike. Uh, moving right along, you know, it does have a 28 millimeter carb under seat exhaust. Peter's already replaced uh, the exhaust, the carb, and then also updated the CDI, and he said he got some good power out of that. Um, the rear sets are fully adjustable, and they're a really nice piece here. And it is 55 millimeter bolt spacing, meaning that this will, the, the GP2 Ovale rear sets will actually fit. So they do have a standard ship um, retrofit. That may work. Uh, I already purchased some Gixxer, uh to do the same. I bought some Gixxer, Gixxer 1000 rear sets of the two, of a 2008 model, um, which has 55 millimeter spacing. So uh, I'll also try to make this GP shift because that's my preference. Anyway, uh, the 12 inch tires, it comes with CST, uh, CMSR super racing tires, whatever that means. Uh, Peter Ovalle has crashed on these multiple times, so uh, thanks to him and his experience, I already bought some Pirelli replacements, so I'm going to put those on before I even touch the track. Um, the ZS190 has a kickstart option, but this is also an electric start bike, so there is a starter on this bike. It also comes with a front mount oil cooler, and... Peter also talked about the placement of the rear caliper, and when he crashed the bike, he scratched up his caliper pretty bad. Um, I looked at J1's website. They also have brackets. I don't know if it will relocate uh, the caliper above the, the, the swing arm, but with all the options, and because this is a clone, maybe that is a possibility with uh, some replacement, um, you know, Ovale parts or something like that. So. That might be an option. Now, the bike looks great. I mean, I love the fit and finish of it. It looks great. And according to Peter, the performance is uh, is great as well. So I'm excited. 
But I'm a stickler for cable routing and hose routing and things like that. And my friend and I, we both purchased this bike, same exact bike, uncrated them at the same time. And we found that there were some inconsistencies in the cable routing. Some of the cables were longer on his bike and some were shorter on my bike, some and vice versa for some of the hoses as well. Like I've got a ton of um you know oil oil cooler hose here. So uh you know it needed to be routed, but it needed to be looped. But if you look here, here's my positive and negative. This this I checked and there is no extra you know cable there anywhere. That that no slack that I can pull. That means I'm gonna have to extend this, so I'm not really stoked on that. But if that's really all the issues that I get out of this bike, then hey, you know what? For 2,700, not too bad. I'll deal with that. Um, I'm gonna finish this with some measurements here, some comparisons to the Ovale GP2. Saddle height to this bike is 700 millimeters tall, uh, whereas the Ovale GP2 is 725 millimeters tall. Weight-wise, very similar. 73 kilograms for this bike versus 71 for the Ovale GP2. And overall weight or overall length is 1,650 millimeters versus uh, 1610 for the Ovale. So we're talking really close in terms of weight, dimensions, and things like that. So my assumption is sitting on this will feel very similar. Uh, check out a, a Peter Ovale's page as well. His impressions are pretty good for a, for uh, for the price of this bike. So I will be doing a few you know, uh, pre-maintenance things uh, before I get this on the track or, and break it in. Uh, for for the Zongshen motor starter chain needs to be lubed. Check your valve clearances. And I think the one thing about these motors is also the decompressor for uh, the camshaft. Check that because sometimes it doesn't uh, spring back from what I heard. So Peter Avali said he, he you know, did not mention anything about that, so that might be a uh, non-issue, uh, but just wanna look out for that because there's a lot of resources out there uh, for the Zongshen. But again, there is the Daytona motor um, option that you have for this bike as well for not really, not that much more. So if you can swing it, I'd go for the four valve. Anyway, uh, if there's anything else I could do, answer any questions, anything I missed, please let me know, I'm happy to help. Really just want to help those out there, kind of like myself, sight unseen, um, who want to know more about the bike. Um, happy to help. So please leave a comment in the comment section and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.